Hey, Shogi fans! Let's take a look at a game that was just played yesterday uh, in the 60-second Osho title match, Game 1. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover all the title matches that come up this year, so hopefully you can get a sense of what's happening in the Shogi world. Uh, the current Osho is Yasumitsu Sato. He took it last year from Toshiaki Kubo. And this year, his challenger is Akira Watanabe, the Ryuo. So let's take a look at it. Playing Sente is the current title holder, Yasumitsu Sato. Uh, Sato was born on October 1st, 1969. Uh, he was born in Yawara City in Kyoto. His teacher is Kaishu Tanaka Nainda. He became a pro in 1987 at the age of 17 and by 1998 he became a nine dan. Uh, he has made 36 title appearances and of those appearances he's taken 13 titles which include two terms of Osho, one term of Ryuo, two terms of Meijin, two terms as Kyo, and six terms as Kisei, uh, earning him the title of permanent Kisei. Playing Gote is the challenger, Akira Watanabe, who currently holds the Ryuo title. He was born on April 23, 1984, in Katsushika Ward, Tokyo. Uh, his teacher was Kazuharu Shoshi, 7 Dan. He became a pro at the age of 15 in the year 2000, and became 9th Dan in 2005. He has made 14 title appearances, and has won 10 of them. He's held nine terms as Ryuo, becoming the first permanent Ryuo, and he held one term as Oza. So let's take a look at the moves. The game opened pawn 2 6, pawn 8 4, 2 5, 8 5, signaling a double wing attack opening. Not so common anymore in title games lately, so some of us were a bit surprised. Gold 7 8 to defend the bishop's head. Gold 3, 4, and then Pawn Trade, of course. And Pawn Drop, kicking the Rook back. Here Sato, of course, has two options. He can pull the Rook back to 2, 6, defending along the 6th rank, stopping that Pawn Trade from happening. Or he can pull it back to 2, 8, allowing the Pawn Trade to happen. Sato chose to pull it back to 2, 8. Uh, Watanabe is not in a rush to trade the Pawns. Uh, he can develop his pieces now, since uh, the rook's not defending along here, so he pushes the edge pawn. Sato also pushes the edge pawn, and he develops his silver. Uh, this does two things. It prepares the castle, for example in Nakahara's king maybe, and it also allows him to trade the pawn without this annoying uh, bishop skewer to create a horse. So from here, Sato develops his silver, aiming for a climbing silver strategy. And here, Watanabe pushes the third foul pawn, opening up the bishop's diagonal, and he continues advancing with silver. At this point, Watanabe decides to make the pawn trade, pawn drop, and he pulls it back to 8-4. Sente continues developing his silver, uh, aiming for this pawn, and also opening the opening up the rooks file. So Watanabe defends the 2-4 square with the bishop. Now edge pawn adds another defender and edge pawn again. From here Watanabe castles his king to 4-1. Sente opens the bishop's diagonal and then Watanabe finishes his castle which is Nakata's king which is normally used in side pawn picker and double wing attack openings uh, because of the high chance of a rook trade happening it's very strong to a rook drop from the side so from here Sato pushes the fourth pile pawn getting ready to support his attack on the fourth pile with the silver Watanabe pushes pawn 7-4 opening up the way for his knight to come down and now the 3-4 pawn is floating, so Sato attacks it. Knight 7-3, getting ready to attack along this way right here. 
to stop the knight from coming down, he pushes pawn 6-6. Six, six. And now Gote pushes the 5th pile pawn, making room for the bishop to come along to 5-3. So Sato takes the pawn, bishop runs to 4-4. Four, four. Silver develops and pawn push on 7-5, attacking this uh, along the 7th pile and also make room, making room for the rook to attack along here. So, silver keeps developing to 6-7, uh, if you were to play gold 5-8 and king 6-9, it would be a snow roof castle, right? Now he keeps pushing the 5th pile pawn to 5-5, creating this vanguard pawn, and also removing another blocking piece from the rook, getting ready to attack this silver. So Sato preemptively moves the silver back to 2-5, getting ready to avoid uh, that rook attack. So, bishop 5-3, and now he takes the pawn here, bishop takes, and the king begins to escape early, uh, because the attack is going to be coming along here, he doesn't want to be on this side of the board. Now here he pulls the bishop back to 5-3, for three reasons. One, he can attack along the seventh foul with the rook, since the bishop is no longer blocking there. Uh, he can defend along this diagonal. Maybe if the silver comes up to attack, he can drop a pawn like this. Uh, and also, uh, it stops the silver from advancing by taking an initiative move, which would force the bishop to go back. So, from here, Sato develops a knight, blocking the potential rook attack, and also aiming for the bishop and for a knight trade. Watanabe also develops his knight, attacking the silver, uh, strengthening this area, stopping a uh, bishop attack later. So silver runs, and from here he goes to attack the seventh pile. Sato immediately goes after the knight, removing it as a potential attacker. So knight takes, pawn takes, and then pawn attack on 5-6. He can't take it with the silver right because it's the only thing defending this pawn. Or this gold, sorry. Uh, so, pawn takes. And now, uh, pawn drop on 3-5, displacing the silver, making him go back. And then he checks with the bishop on 7-5. Uh, Sato decides to run instead of blocking it, so the bishop can promote. And now the horse is threatening to take the silver. And he can't take it, right? It'll be a king-bishop fork. And the game will be pretty much over there. So, Sato drops a pawn on 7-6, uh, keeping the bishop's diagonal open. And from here, rook 2-4, offering the rook trade. Sato declines it, of course, with a uh, pawn drop on 2-5. Uh, if Watanabe were to take it with the rook, then another pawn drop, and Sato would have the initiative, so that's not very good. Instead, he takes it with the knight, after which Sato again drops the pawn, but now the knight can take this pawn. King recaptures and now he attacks on the king's head with rook to 3-4. From here, Sato goes after the horse with gold 4-8, but Watanabe ignores it, pushes the pawn on 3-6. Uh, if he were to run to 3-8, for example, then maybe the horse would take the gold and gold drop here, forking the king and the rook. So instead he took with the silver, and now knight drop on 2-4, attacking the silver. Pawn drop, knight takes and king takes. Watanabe continues attacking, silver sack on 4-7, gold takes, and even a rook sack on 3-5. Now the king has to take, and horse takes the gold. Uh, it looks like Sato is hopelessly behind in this position. Uh, I think most amateurs will probably resign here. But Sato continues going, 
He pulls back the silver, attacking the horse. Uh, there are a few different options to attack here. Uh, the first one that uh, Akutsu Seven Don looked at when he was commenting on Nico Nico was this pawn drop on 3 4. Uh, the king would run to 4 5, and then gold drop on 3 5, king runs, and you've got this king rook fork here. That's one option. There's also a gold drop on 4-4. Four, four. Bishop takes, pawn takes, and the king runs. And then bishop drop 3-9, attacking the rook, and also uh, stopping the king from running to this diagonal. But Watanabe didn't choose either of those lines. Instead, he dropped the gold onto 3-6, and now the king runs to 2-5, and horse takes 4-6, running away from the silver's attack. Now, it's still not a threat mate, so he drops a pawn on 3-7, trying to get rid of that gold. Uh, Watanabe goes after the edge, trying to stop the king from running there. Pawn takes, and pawn drop 1-8. Now, if you were to take it, there would be another pawn drop here. Take, and from here, he's actually in a forced mate. With horse to 3-5, king runs to 1-6. Uh, the point of those pawn drops was to stop the king from being able to run down to here. And remember, the gold is still here, or defending here. So, now, pawn drop, king takes horse check, and lance takes. This would be a mate. So, he can't take those pawns starting from pawn 1-8, so he takes the gold instead. Now with the pawn here, he can take the rook, but now there's still no mate on Sato's king, so he drops a knight on 4-5, getting ready to attack along the third pile. Don't forget he has this bishop still attacking along here. So, Watanabe takes the lance, seeing that there's still no uh, threat, like real threat here. And Sato drops a knight on 3-7, blocking the horse from being able to come back up to here. Here, Watanabe drops the lance. He just got to 3-3, making a threat mate. Uh, maybe you can't see it. So, it would be rook drop 2-4, king 1-6 pawn drop and lance takes would be mate. So he has to respond to this. What he does is he drops a rook to 2-1. Uh, Watanabe doesn't want to move either of these generals. Uh, they're in a good place for defense, so he drops a bottom pawn on 3-1 and then knight drop on 3-3 blocking the lance. Uh, Watanabe doesn't respond to it immediately. Instead, he's reading out deep into the move uh, all the variations and sees that he wants his horse to be on 5-6 later. So he takes the knight here, and now knight takes 3-3 three, three promotes, silver takes, bishop sack, gold takes, rook sack, king takes, and then silver drop 2-2, two, two, king 4-1, and silver takes 3-3, three, three, declines promotion. Uh, this is a pretty awesome way to remove a threat mate. And also, there's a threat mate with gold drop, so it's a threat mate removing threat mate. So it shows Sato's resilience. But... Watanabe doesn't give up. He drops the rook on 2-4. Uh, if he takes it with the silver, then pawn takes, and he's fine. So he runs, trying to keep that threat mate still going. And then Watanabe takes the knight, king takes, and like I mentioned, he takes 5-6, checking the king. So Sato has to block it with the pawn. So... Knight drop 2-2, two, two, king runs to 2-3, two, 
Bishop drop checking. King runs. Rook drop. King runs, and he removes the silver from the board, making his own king safer. But Sato isn't done yet. He drops the gold to 2-4, attacking the rook. Instead of simply running away, Watanabe moved his rook to 3-4, because actually Sato can't take it. If he does, then bishop takes, checking. Then king 1-5, lance takes, king runs a 2-4, gold drop, king runs, and silver drop is mate. So, Sato made a check on 3-2 with the silver, uh, Watanabe took it with the rook, so lands drop on 3-3, getting the rook out of the fight, and then silver drop on 3-4, uh, if he takes it, it's going to be the same mate, right? So the king runs, and knight drop 2-3, and seeing this position, Sato resigned. Uh, it's not a checkmate, but there's no way of coming back from this, and Watanabe's king is too safe. So Sato decided that this was the time to resign. Everyone who was watching the game live, including the pros who were commenting on Nico Nico, assumed that it was going to be a simple win after Watanabe's rook sack. But actually, that's not the case. If we look back... Look back to here. In the post-game discussion, uh, Watanabe pointed out that Sato's losing move was actually Night Drop 4-5. Watanabe said that he was predicting Night Drop 3-4. Watanabe said he was planning to respond to this move with taking the Lance, and then Rook Drop 2-1, Lance Drop, uh, promote the knight by taking the silver. Uh, Gote would drop the rook to 2-4. King runs, and now take the gold, making a discovered check. And here, knight drop to 3-3. Three, three. Gold takes, and from here we start to see why Sato chose not to go with this line. Because bishop takes the gold, promotes here, and then... Pawn drop 3-4, king runs, knight drop, another knight drop, gold check, king runs, pawn drop, horse takes, gold takes, king takes, and then uh, bishop drop here, king runs, and then uh, pawn 3-5 is mate. So we see why Sato chose not to go with this line because it looked like a mate. However, with this move, if he chose not to promote, then that line won't happen because pawn drop, if we go along with the moves, here, this pawn drop is actually illegal because of the decline promotion. It's a mate with a drop pawn, right? Uh, reportedly after seeing this move, Sato said, eh, this kind of move? Really? Declining promotion? I can't believe this kind of move exists. At the time he played Night Drop 4-5, Sato only had 8 minutes left on his clock, and it's really hard to see this kind of deep variation even if you're a top level professional. Uh, it's a shame he missed it, but Sato really showed his resilience throughout this game when everyone, even the pros, thought that it was going to be a simple loss. So it was a great game. Hope you enjoyed it. The next game is actually going to be played on January 23rd and 24th. Every pro title match is broadcasted live on 81 Dojo, getting the moves as soon as they happen, usually with a bunch of people uh, chatting about the game, giving their predictions, giving their thoughts. So. If you don't already, you should come check it out with us. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you click like and subscribe to Shogi Corner, and we'll see you next time.